I'm going to make this short as I can. But I want to talk about um, four different things. And um, first about the time I met Kathleen Hanna. And she's from Bikini Kill, La Tigra. And it was October 30th of 2011. And I found out a week before that, right after a Wild Flag concert, another Bright Girl band I love, that she was going to be meeting with fans after a screening of her band La Tigra's documentary. And that fans would get, get to meet her. And um, it was only five bucks to go, and she met people for free. And I was just, like, I found out from her website, and I'm just like, hell yeah, I'm going. And then um, it was amazing, and she was really nice. We talked, like, 20 minutes, and then went... Uh, let other fans meet her because I was the first one to and then talk some more we mainly um she met my dad and mom my dad took some pictures of us but uh we mainly talked about what it was like for a right girl back then and um we talked about a lot of her like albums like the stuff she signed like the artwork from the cds I had her sign from Julie Ruin the Tigre on Bikini Kill. And we mainly talked about Bikini Kill though, which is like my favorite band of hers or anything she's ever done. Um, it was just really nice and she like was so nice to everyone. And it was just a day I'll never forget. And I emailed with her before and after too. And she's just like the nicest woman. And after we talked about music and all the obvious stuff. I told her I lived in Hawaii. And we talked about her touring, about her concert at 40 Watt, the only time she came to Georgia where I live. Um, after that, uh, we took more pictures and she hugged me. Um, and then another time, another idol I met was Otep, the same night when I doll, which was so nice. When I first discovered her music right before the concert on August 30th of 2012. And Otep was so nice. She loved my Kurt Cobain shirt. She um, was happy that I had CD booklets of hers signed, that I bought stuff of hers. And she signed a poster too. And when I doll also signed the same poster. And they both took pictures with me. But the pictures of Otep didn't turn out right. So I'll get a better camera that I'll take next time she comes on her last tour. And they're just so amazing. And they did two tours together and like at least 80 shows. And Otep and One Eye Doll are just so nice. And I just really had a fun time. And then they met fans for free. And the concert was only $14. And it was the m most amazing female concert I've ever been to. And then, of course, everyone knows already this year of October 25th, 2012, I met my other two idols, my biggest ones. And they are Twiggy Ramirez and Marilyn Manson. And I knew that I'd probably never get a chance again to meet them because they never come to Georgia and I just had to for $150. And it was just so amazing and I was so nervous. And I had friends to go with, but I was so shy, like, to them. I was losing my voice, which really sucked because I wanted to say more than I did to Manson and Twiggy, but I still had a great time, especially because it probably won't happen again. But I just... I'm still going to send Marilyn Manson family and stuff. And it was just really fun. And I gave them a card. And then fans wrote stuff that they wanted to say to Manson and Twiggy on it. And I drew Twiggy a guitar. <laughs> and um, it was just really amazing. And it was the most amazing time of my life. And that concert was my number one concert. And always will be because of Marilyn Manson. And also, I wasn't sure if Twiggy was going to be there. But when he was, I was happy because I had a letter for him too. And he read my letter and had someone that worked at Golden Tickets like put it with his other stuff with another fan letter someone gave him. And um, I talked to them about random stuff. And they said a lot of funny, good humor and spirited, raunchy jokes about like Twiggy um, Tilly Manson that. Because Manson gave me a drawing after an autograph on his long road out of a hell. He drew, drew <laughs> dick and then Tweet said he was a dick face and a uh, Venus face. Yeah. And um, it was so funny. And then we talked about Hawaii and then their tour. And going to Hawaii, that one concert, before I moved there. And how was my first concert being in Georgia. 
and how I had a lot of fun until he asked me how I liked it. And I told him I missed him playing bass guitar and stuff. But um, I have a whole blog about this already. But I mentioned some other stuff I talked to them about. But Marilyn Manson was kind of quiet. <laughs> Not shy, but um, he just kept checking me out a lot. And like, then uh, he kissed my hand first and like my two other friends. But the makeup wore out. But it was my right hand. And um, it was just so fun. And Manson made sure I got an extra picture. So three pictures instead of one. But they said that night they're giving everyone two pictures. And I ended up getting three instead. And it was really awesome. But I felt a little rushed with like people behind me getting pushed to the front, like behind me to move and meet and like waiting on me. And I just felt like I just wanted more time. But for the price and, and for who I was meeting, it was worth it. And uh, Manson and I, uh, he's complimented all, everything I was wearing, the shirt of his I was wearing. Uh, Marilyn Manson wanted me to drink mirror. And then Marilyn Manson told me how much he loved my bracelets, like from. Spencer's I was wearing spiky bracelets and like and my friends were all mentioning like that we went there together VIP and um and how we all went to the concert together our first Manson concert for all three of us and like we were all talking to them and once and my friend Cheyenne gave him a bracelet Manson a bracelet and Twiggy a card and then Manson took my letter and Cheyenne's and he um put them on the table next to him, but he said he would read it before he saw me again. And then I came back in, and he, like, when we took pictures, he spit on my ear. And I sat in Twiggy's lap and hugged him again. But Twiggy hugged me, like, about two minutes before that, and I got about ten minutes all together the whole time with both of them. But, including the pictures. And it was just fun. And the pictures were amazing. I was so nervous. And the Manson, like, hugged me back, because I started hugging him first. And then he spanked me before I left, and I didn't turn around, and I regret that. And he was saying, like, whispering in my ear stuff. And I remember it was like, even though it happened so fast, now it's kind of in days, like, so overwhelmed about that. I was so shy still, and Manson, like, um, got his arms all around me. And then, like, he saw that, um, that, um, I wasn't getting up before, like, after the pictures, like, he saw that I was still sitting there <laughs> in Twiggy's lap, and then, um, so, um, he told him to take another picture, and, um, oh, and he told me right before pictures, before I left the room, he told me, I can't wait to get pictures with you, take pictures with you, um, and they were both really nice, and Twiggy talks more, and Twiggy's clean, but, um, and so lucky that his girlfriend, Manson's girlfriend, wasn't there, I can't stand her. And I heard she was really rude to all fans and evil, like, at the meets when she shows up. And so I didn't have to meet her because I seriously would have come close to punching her <laughs> before I left. Um, and I just wanted to say all this, like, it's kind of a New Year's thing, video part one, early. Um, and I just wanted to say how much I was thankful for all, being all my idols in an under a year. And it was the most amazing thing that's happened between last year and this year, between October last year and this year and it all happened like five days under a year that I met all all those amazing people and um I'll never forget it and oh you check out my other videos my collections of Manson and Otep and Kathleen and there's my picture the Kathleen um the Otep one didn't turn out and I don't have a copy of a picture with the one I doll but I'll get some and of course the Manson one and this one's falling down which is not good. There's my huge Manson shelf. And I still have more stuff to show on another video once I get the rest for Christmas. Okay, thanks for watching.